I'm sorry. Someone told you this and now they're wondering why things haven't gone back to the way they used to be. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marital Bliss with Pastor Honorine. I have a prophetic word for somebody. Someone hurt you real bad and later on said, I'm sorry. They later on apologized. And you truly told them, apology accepted. I've forgiven you. But right now they're wondering why things have not gone back to the way they used to be and this is the lesson they failed to understand i'm sorry it doesn't automatically fix everything things don't go back to the way they used to be just because someone said i'm sorry that's what many people don't understand they feel like they can do anything and then they come back and they say, I'm sorry, and it's going to be okay. No, there is always a consequence for every action. There is always a consequence for everything that you do. And whether you've been forgiven or not, the consequence remains. I once saw an illustration of someone dropping a breakable plate to the floor. And then saying, I'm sorry. And even though they apologized, the, the, the broken plate did not come back to its original form. That's what people do not understand. Many people don't get it. You shatter somebody's heart, you can say, I'm sorry. But the shattered heart remains shattered. Hurt. They are going to keep on hurting over a period of time and the natural human tendency is that once bitten they become twice shy so they, they automatically put on a defense mechanism that tends to eat with you with a long spoon that's what happens normally and many people don't get it Many people feel like, but I already apologized. I already said I'm sorry. And then secondly, I'm sorry is not an apology if you keep, if you do back what you did the first time. The better way to apologize is to not do it again. If you say I'm sorry today and say I'm sorry tomorrow for the same thing, then you are not really sorry. So it's not in saying it. Is in living it. Is in acting it. Don't apologize to me, but change your behavior. Change your ways. Stop doing what you did that hurt me. That's a better apology. So even when you say, I'm sorry, and I say, okay, it is still restrained because I don't know if you are truly sorry. Are you sorry because you were caught? Or you are sorry because you realize that what you did was wrong. Are you sorry because you realize that your action or your reaction or your words got someone really offended or they didn't bring out the response you thought or you are sorry because you truly realize that what you did was wrong? Because sometimes you catch someone cheating and they tell you they are sorry. Are they truly sorry? If you didn't catch them, would they have stopped? Sometimes someone insults you and hurts you, provokes a, a particular kind of feeling in you, or belittles or disrespects you, and then says, I'm sorry. That act could have been intentional, and they had pre-planned to do it and then say they are sorry. Not because they are sorry. They can do it again over and over. It was a pre-planned act. They decided to do that without thinking whether you are respected or not. They decided to do that. So, this could be a good video to share with that person. If they are still wondering why you are not acting normal, then this could be a good video to send a link to them and tell them 
Just listen to this. God bless you. Shalom.